And I'm going to show you how to defeat the Crystal Sage boss in Dark Souls 3. You souls, what you're going to want to do is just going to leave your bonfire, go up through here, go through this entrance, and just kind of run past these guys so you can get there with the biggest health bar you possibly can. Watch out for the projectiles. Then when you get across this little bridge here, you're going to be met by a guy here. You just want to run past him or he will attack you. Now this guy up here, just block his projectiles and just keep on going. He'll probably swing another one at you, so give it a roll. Then there's another one here shooting more projectiles. Just run right past him. And we are now here to the Crystal Sage. So what you want to do is you just want to run up to him and just start attacking him. Um, hit him with everything you got. Watch out for that purple stuff. Do not get hit by that. That will definitely damage you badly. He will disappear after every few hits and he just kind of keep running after him. Uh, he appears in new spots every time, so keep on the lookout for that. Watch out for the purple stuff. See, I got hit by it. Probably because I'm too heavy here. I shouldn't have had that shield on my back. That was a pretty bad idea, but I was still managed to beat him. So, no big deal. There he disappeared again. So you just kind of keep watching out for him. He could be on any of the corners here. Uh, sometimes he's even appeared kind of in a um, diagonal area toward the back. You just keep attacking him and he'll keep going away. Now what you really got to watch is he kind of he duplicates himself later on here. There'll be more than one of him. So you want to go after the one that's got the purple on him. He hasn't done this yet. He will here in a second. Alright, see that's the fake one. There's no purple. So just look for the purple one. That one's shooting blue. More blue. See, there you go. That one's shooting purple. So go after the one that's shooting purple. Those other ones, you really don't need to attack because if you can dodge their attacks, that's for the best. You're wasting your time going after them. So just go and attack him a few times and he'll disappear again. Yeah, see, that's where that shield comes into play. I was losing my stamina awfully fast there, so... When you go fight him, make sure you don't have a big shield on your back. That was kind of a dumb move, but whatever. <laughs> there we go, purple one. Attack him. Definitely make sure you have plenty of Estus. Again, look for the purple. There he is up there. Just avoid those guys. Attack him and that's it. He is beat. Pretty easy boss battle. Not really much to it. Just look for the one, you know, that's purple. You'll be able to beat him pretty easy. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe.